Hey Pisces, welcome to your July 2024 bonus reading. It's going to be a reading for the full moon in Capricorn. We're just going to go ahead and get started and jump straight in. I hope you're all doing well. Now this full moon is of today when I'm uploading this video on the 21st. However, the full moon is going to be playing out all the way until we come into the new lunation cycle, which will be the new moon in Leo. So if you're watching this after the 21st, you can still... Well, it still applies. So let's go ahead and jump in here. I do want to say if you want to book a personal reading with me, that link will be down below in the description and also that the readings are on sale still as well. So let's jump in here, Pisces, and let's take a look. All right, you pull the Eight of Swords, Three of Swords, Five of Wands. All right. Take a look here. Future position, you did pull the page of pentacles. Okay. I like I like that being in the future. Definitely three of swords in your current energy. There's some disappointments that I feel like you're experiencing at this time. I feel like there's a lot of imbalances or things that you're feeling unbalanced with. And I think you're just kind of tired of it. I think you're ready for a change here. And the eight of swords is for the overall energy. Very interesting, Pisces, because you are a very super intelligent sign. I don't think people give you enough credit for that. Because Pisces, it's about the deepening of knowledge and that it's inconclusive and that there's always more and more and more to be aware of. There's always more and more and more to learn. There's always more and more to explore and it never ends, right? And so that's why Pisces can be super intelligent because they know, because they can go to the very depths of things and continue to go deep, 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 deep. But the deepening of awareness, right? The deepening of knowledge, Eight of Swords is knowledge and wisdom that you already have and it's in a way it's almost like shackled up right eight of swords it's like you know because this is jupiter and gemini gemini deals with ideas gemini deals with you know the intellect and jupiter deals with growth expansion guidance teaching right expanding growth and i think the overall energy is like you're trying to take all the ideas that you have all the information that you have and you're trying to figure out a way here in which you can express it five of wands being in the challenge in which you can take it in and, and act on it but it's almost like <clears throat> there's a lot to digest right which can be what's kind of frustrating here with the five of wands uh being in the challenge so let's take a look here. You pulled the Queen of Wands. You have the Five of Swords and the Outcome. You have the Strength card. Well, I like that the Strength card is here in the Outcome because this is you being able to break through your limitations and get over those challenges here with the Five of Wands being in the challenge. The strength card deals with willpower, deals with accomplishing and pushing through barriers and obstacles. So I do think you're pushing through this energy. The Page of Pentacles is in the future position. Page of Pentacles is steady application, like applying what it is that you know or applying or taking something and creating something tangible with the information that you have or with the ideas or just with the things that you're thinking about, right? Like the Page of Pentacles deals with like the practicalness, like applying yourself practically, like taking what it is that you know and applying it practically. It kind of reminds me of Virgo. Virgo allows for the digestion of information, right? Which is your opposite side, Pisces. And so what's going on is I think there's like a digestion process here of like having to let things really digest in which a way that it can be assimilated properly, right? Or integrated properly, five of wands. So that way you can, you know, page of pentacles up, start doing things practically with the information and with the things that you have come to, uh, the things that you become aware of here. And I think that's leading you to this strength card energy, which is being able to overcome your challenges, right? And get success here. You do have the Five of Swords here as your advice to this Five of Wands. Hmm. Yeah, you know, this card is Venus and Aquarius, and Venus does deal with cooperation and relationships, right? It, just, it doesn't deal with just romance, right? It deals with all relationships uh, and the ability to be able to co-create and create with others. And this is an Aquarius card as well, so it deals with the collective or it deals with being of service. So this could be information or you just really trying to get your ideas across or really trying to connect socially here uh, to share things or to be a part of things here. And I think with this Five of Swords, that the, the advice is saying basically like, embrace your eclectic nature, right? Embrace your uniqueness. Look at this. 
Five of Swords, like I said, it's Aquarius. Aquarius deals with being eclectic, you know, your genius, right? It's about sharing your inner genius, allowing for your inner genius to start shining through. Eight of Swords is like you have all that knowledge, all that information, all the wisdom, right? All the ideas. And I think the universe is like wanting you to tap into your inner genius. Even if, 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 even if, even if you feel like it's weird, right? Even if you feel like it's weird. Page of Pentacles is saying like share it anyway or to do, do, to do it anyways. You did pull the Queen of Wands here in the position of something you're unaware of that you need to be aware of. Queen of Wands is saying remember that you're worthy. And this is also about allowing yourself to spontaneously express yourself. So with the Eight of Swords, the reason why this person, if you think about it in the original tarot deck, it's like they're in their head. It's like self-analysis paralysis. It's because they're only seeing things one way, right? So, so let's just say a spontaneous energy comes up to what they want to create, but the Eight of Swords energy, the Eight, the eight of Swords person would be like, well, let me think about it. I have to like overanalyze it instead of just like acting freely, right? And just like expressing freely, like your own individuality and your own uniqueness, right? And putting forth like your own ideas or putting forth like your uh, own perspective on things. The Queen of Wands is saying you got it, right? You got the gift. You got the gift of gab here. So don't forget that. It's like you got it. You just have to allow yourself to shine it. You pull this guardian card, it says guard your energy here. And this card is all about kind of, it's a wolf, right? Which deals with going your own way with things, right? Going your own way with things. And along the way, you know, maybe people will be jealous or maybe people will have feedback or maybe people will have their opinions. But it's, it's about like not letting it get to you, not taking it personally, right? Because five of wands in a challenge could deal with conflict and tension with others, right? personality clashes ego clashes and that the, if that's the case five of swords is saying disconnect from those people because those people aren't your people right but that's on a minor level i don't feel like that's all of you i don't think that's the main energy here i think mainly this is you trying to figure out how to really like allow for your like your own inner genius to shine through to pull this cloud card his imagination yeah it's all up there huh pisces it's all in there eight of swords it's just how, how do you get it out right how do you bring out that inner brilliance like how do you let it out but also this card being imagination is about you know your imagination like that especially you pisces because you rule the imagination like the that creative potent energy of ideals that you can really see this is about allowing for it to shine through like letting that come out because you could be seeing things different than other people are seeing it but maybe you're not trusting what you're seeing or maybe you're kind of doubting what you're seeing eight of swords this is about no your your intuition is right you're, you're you're seeing things right here I can give you an example. Like when I was first doing tarot, I would sometimes just sh I would be so over analytical about it, or I would analyze it too much. Like my intuition would boom give me the answer, but I'd be like, hold on, wait, like let me just I, I need to think about this more, and it would just take away from the flow of the reads. But I just learned like boom, whatever comes through like first, like I, I I've learned to trust it. Yes, I still look at the definition of the cards and everything like that. And I always use the definition of the cards, but I also allow my intuition to, to connect things as well. And I trust that. And it's like a muscle you develop. You pull this time to move on, flow with the river, see where it takes you here. I think the changes that you're wanting to make at this time, that three of swords being in your current energy, is like you're realizing, yeah, like, you know, this is, I want to do something different, right? Um, and so the data source is like, well, I want to do something different, but uh, I just don't know. I have so many ideas or I have so many ways or I have so many things I'm, you know, that I'm trying to figure out or that I, that I know I want, but I'm trying to figure out what to do next. The universe is saying, just try one of them, right? Ada swords is like, try one of them, right? Try one of them, right? And five of swords is saying, you know, don't be afraid to be eclectic, be unique, open up your values to creating other things. I think also too, you're trying to take into consideration of other people's values as well, Pis Pisces, 
which is why you're um, trying to think like of a way how you can really kind of be of service or to, to give the most. Clarify the Eight of Swords for the overall energy. You pull this angel card, it says compassion. So, you know, don't be too hard on yourself, right? Eight of Swords, don't be too hard on yourself. You know, especially with that Three of Swords, let's clarify that. <laughs> the Lion Temperament card. Yeah, and this could be to where it's like, maybe you're feeling like a failure or maybe you're feeling just, just like you wanna give up or that nothing's working. But it's like you're in a process of reinvention, right? You're in a process of innovation. It's like some of these ideas that you have are going to work. Some of them aren't. Some things you're going to click with. Some things you're not going to click with. But it's it's the five of wands. It's the it's the practice makes perfect card. But you got to play the game, right? You got to step into challenging yourself and putting new challenges in front of you. Which I'm not saying that's not what you're doing. I think you are doing that. But it's just a reminder. Yeah, you pull this mountain card. It says goals with the five of wands. It's about challenging yourself. Right, to reach goals, to accomplish goals, to push yourself to higher heights here. Clarify the Five of Swords as the advice. You have this key card that says reveal. It's, it's like the advice, the key is like your own unique eclectic ideals. And allowing for yourself to experiment, seek innovations, reinvention. Clarify the Page of Pentacles in the future. You have Ocean Release and you have this Pomegranate card that says Prosperity here. So, again, Page of Pentacles also too, cause to where you could be receiving something, some form of a manifestation tangibly from the hard work you've been putting in or from you taking the initiative, right? And that's this Pomegranate card. So you could be seeing your rewards here, the adverse results of these rewards um, through you experimenting or challenging yourself or doing something different you could be finding something works here but i'm also seeing you release here what you're creating and you believing in the value of it here as well because i think it does have value clarify the strength card and the outcome you have this butterfly card transformation then boom it's like you're letting out your inner tiger right here and the strength card it's like you're letting that brilliance out that genius out and it's bringing a transformation like you're transforming things at this time but i think this is you really integrating all these new things which is bringing that deeper form of you personally going through a transformation and changing things and yeah i think it's going to lead you to be, uh, very big things here clarify this queen of wands in the position of something you're unaware of you pull this fish card this is intuition it's about the spontaneous expression and self-expression yourself uniquely individually stepping into the things that empower you right and trusting where your heart's leading you and doing what it is that your heart desires right let that be your guide in your intuitiveness and, or let that be your guide and where your intuition takes you hmm. yeah this between worlds card it says new direction so yeah i think you're definitely opening up to new worlds here wanting to explore new worlds and this is about kind of being caught in between the both worlds to where it's like you can feel a little bit lost or just feeling the pressure of like all right fuck i'm in two places and i gotta fucking figure out which one i'm going to but you gotta do what's right for you pull this jasmine card it says sensuality this is about pleasure the creative process Right, the creative process, the imagination, what you're desiring, what your, your imagination and what your ideals are. And the Jasmine card is about bringing those down into reality, creating those things, because that's going to bring pleasure, that sensual energy. Doing what it is that you like and you enjoy. You pull this, everything is as you've created, all you create offers you lessons in life. And... Three of Swords, Eight of Swords. Maybe there's things that you've kind of were doing in the past and maybe it served its purpose, but now maybe you're wondering, all right, what do I do next? I feel like there's something I need to do differently. And, you know, instead of being like, well, I thought this was going to be it. And, you know, now I just kind of look like I don't know what I want or I'm kind of all over the place, but you're not. It's like you're learning through experience of just your journey 
and it's always going to be changing and evolving. So it's like taking the lessons and everything you have learned and using it for the next thing. Like a good example would be, um, let's see, like, let's just say, this is really good. So let's just say you, um, let's just say you worked in hospitality for a really long time and you have, you're, you have come to really get good at interacting with people, understanding what they need, right? Being able to see the subtle cues of, you know, people's temperaments and stuff like that, or being able to see just through experience things that you could really only, only get from the experience. And let's just say you want to go into like a new industry. It's like, okay, well, what, what, what I have learned through hospitality, right? Like I can take that and use it for the new thing, right? That would be like an eight of swords, three of swords, but this, everything is as, as you've created all you create offers you lessons in life. It's like everything you have done hasn't just gone to waste in the past. It's like, it's about taking that knowledge that you have gained and bringing it into the new thing, right? It's like, because we're always, everything that we're doing, we can always take something from it and then bring it into the future, what we're doing. So I feel like the universe is encouraging you to do that because you do have a lot of wisdom, eight of swords, but it's all shackled up. So it's about the releasing, right? The releasing it, taking it with you and letting it come through. So that's what I got for you, Pisces and your, I was about to call you Aquarius. Some of you may have Aquarius in your chart. That's what I got for you, Pisces and your full moon and Capricorn reading. I'm wishing you the best. If you want to book a personal reading with me, that link will be down below in the description. The readings are still on sale as well. If you click that link, it'll take you straight to my website. I think you can just purchase a reading. If you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button before you leave. Also to hit the notification button bell as well again. Um, so that way you get notified whenever I upload your videos or whenever I go live. Otherwise in that Pisces, I wish you the best and I'll see you in your next video.